First of all, let me thank you. Uh, let me thank to all the panelists here, uh, Madhu, Abhishek, Tanvi, and of course, Bala. Uh, it's wonderful to have such a diversity on the panel because we've got entrepreneurs, we've got people in digital media, we've got uh, a brand coach, and we've got an icon uh, who kind of reminds me of Swadesh. Uh, and the topic is very interesting because the topic which we will discuss is, uh, is the brand of Make in India, Made in India, and Made for the World. So, uh, fairly complicated. But I want to begin with this, uh, and I often wonder, is uh, when you talk about the brand of India, or the brand of Make in India, or Made in India, or whatever you call it, what is this brand? What constitutes this brand? Is it uh, the tradition, you know, uh, is it yoga and Ayurveda? Is it the demographic dividend? Are those, those challenges which the country faces? Is it natural resource? What is it? What do you think? And let's try to prioritize them. Which ones are you think? Two or three? Which are the major factors which go into the brand of India? Maybe Madhup, you can start. Yeah, thanks, Sujan. Uh, to me, uh, brand India is basically our culture. Is Our culture is our standing in front of uh, the world community uh, to frankly say that going for a brand is definitely uh, not a year job, not a two year job, it's a centuries job which takes uh, to, building a, to build a brand and for that I feel proud to say that yes India has got the uh, I mean, past few, so many centuries experience and branding so it's all about that uh, cultural ethics and cultural civilizations which uh, India has with it and carries with it uh, to the world. So Brand India is all about that. And how can we leverage that is all about doing businesses from that and doing uh, moving forward in, uh, in, in front of the world community. Uh, so basically, the branding from in India is the culture and civilization it carries with it with it and definitely it's a nation's brand which builds the image of every individual or every citizen of it and no matter what but it uh, if anyone can recognize it or not but certainly it's a nation's image which helps you or which rather motivates you to going forward so it's it's not just culture also heritage and history of the country which you think is a brand yeah yeah brand. for me yeah, this is the brand and this is the image which we carry I, I will come to come back to you and asking for specific examples on yeah. where you think culture has been a brand but I'll give you some time to think and let me come to Abhishek what do you think is the brand of India you know I think uh, this this question is best uh, answered by people when you go abroad let's say Singapore Hong Kong etc you go abroad and you meet these cabbies right the first thing that they look at is Indian and uh, then they will ask you a next question, are you into, uh, you know, IT, right? So, uh, so in, in my view, I think there lies the answer because you're asking us a question, be, we being in India, you know, I will obviously pick up culture, diversity, etc. as well. But look at it from a perspective of an outsider. When he sees Indian or when he sees anything related to India, what do they talk about? Uh, I mean, uh, obviously, when people come from, let's say, MetLife US or MetLife Asia, uh, they they tell me, tell me, uh, you know, take me to the best uh, restaurant which has the spicy curry, right? So cuisine could be something that represents India. But I would, if I were to answer your question, uh, I would say people is uh, what is making India because uh, for whatever work that uh, the services sector has been able to do, uh, I think they have been great brand ambassadors. Uh, we have the best of the IT companies uh, and uh, we're also looking at, uh, uh, you know, people like him coming back to India. So I think that's the pull uh, of being able to do something uh, in the country itself. And uh, what is now coming off is that the people's strength that we have is something that the rest of the world does not have. Uh, and I'll give you an example. If you actually hold a conversation with a Japanese or a Chinese in English, you know, they will stumble uh, maybe beyond five minutes, right? So they are now investing in actually taking up English as a very important language for them. So India has that inherent advantage of people who have actually taken up to uh, 
the developing world as well and so this so so people i would say is the you know is is making india to me right and people also is specifically mentioned it right no, no, uh, no. so so th that's is, that's only one part of it but is, is this so in a way is it is it a good thing to happen that most of india most of the cabbies will ask you whether you are a software designer or not if you are an indian it's a good start i would say right rather than people telling you that you are coming from a land which is from you know cobra so <laughs> you see <laughs> both of us think so are you are, are you a snake charmer versus are you a tech programmer absolutely absolutely <laughs> okay uh tanvi as uh, you worked with uh, a lot of senior people that's what i understand um uh, i'm sure many of the people you work with have a lot of exposure from uh, different cultures uh from that perspective can you tell me from you know those cxo level people what is the brand of india okay um globally to begin with i think the brand india is best known for yoga and spirituality whether we like it or not apart from being you know the snake charmers land for the last few centuries but i think the brand india has evolved over a period of time if you look today in the recent past brand india has been all about yoga and spirituality if i go 100 years ago probably in the british rule brand india was all about spices and all the trade items that they were taking back to their country a couple of years ago a couple of centuries ago when we were being deployed it was all about the jewels that they were getting out of our countries i think brand india has evolved over a period of time if i go a couple of centuries even further back uh, during the times of buddha i think brand india was completely different at that point of time because buddha as a thought leader shaped what india was known for what india stood for right without the borders back then um coming back in the times of chanakya i think brand india was completely different again the thought leadership of chanakya shaped a nation which was almost invincible at that point of time a couple of years again in the recent past if you talk about gandhi brand india was completely different it was a rebel right and the recent you know times when you talk about the corporates and the brand india and the perception people have when you talk about thought leaders icons like indira noi and um, ratan tata brand india is all about cutting edge thought leadership yeah we've been known as a service nation but it's all about what next it's all about who these people are what are they thinking what is their vision what are they working towards building creating in a country which is still known as the land of snake charmers so brand india i believe personally has evolved right from buddha to chanakya to gandhi to the days of indira noi ratan tata to the days of sadguru to the days of um, kunal shahs and richakas of the world where people are constantly reinventing what their dreams what their impact can shape the brand india to be okay and specifically brand india for the angle of make in india or made in india whichever one you choose what is that one word or two words which you will associate coming from the cxo level people you know you mentioned things like creative and you probably he mentioned heritage he mentioned i don't know it probably i'm going to stick people right what is that one word which you will associate this is what india in terms of production or make in india or made in india is known for especially in your circle of cxos um in the circle which i move in i think the aspiration is for cutting edge technology people okay. want brand india the make in india brand to be mm -hmm. known for cutting edge technology okay okay so thank you uh bala you have a different and i need to tell the audience about a bit about you before i pitch in my question uh so uh, bala saab drade here he worked in nasa which one the moon one or the mars one mars the mars one so he has a role to play in the uh, mars mission of nasa and uh, we met him in 2011 when uh, you know that's the first time we met him in dr. chicago kalam, uh, with dr kalam there i was there with dr kalam then and uh, bala uh, expressed a desire probably motivated by swades movie probably <laughs> because his ringtone is swades so <laughs> so uh, uh, he said that i want to come back to india and uh, honestly i thought he's joking and uh, but then next year i found him back in india and i found him on the magazine cover sitting on top of a bell gadi and he went back to his village and today he's a politician and a policy analyst and he's also associated with make in india and it's good to have people from nasa going you know the swades in real life and i think uh, someone mentioned that as well in the panel but what i want to understand from you is that you worked in nasa you worked in a 
in a highly technological environment. We feel proud that uh, maybe we feel they don't, but we say 30% of NASA people are Indians, and we feel so good about it. But I want to understand from your previous life, you know, in US, <laughs> <laughs> what what is a, a company like NASA or an organization rather like NASA? How does it see the brand India? How does it see Indians? And how does it see our production capability? Uh, what are the salient features? You know? uh, first thing I would say is the smart people, as you said, like IT or like okay. the people. people. People is the definitely our one thing that um, other I would say is like a demography, democracy, and um, um, uh, demand, like market, uh, market, mean? like in terms of uh, making India perspective. Mm -hmm. This like 3D. India is known by the these 3Ds: demography, democracy, uh, and uh, demand. demand. Mm -hmm. And fourth D that which make in India is um, promoting is deregulation. That so that if we bring this 4D, um, but uh, from US perspective or from other per definitely smart people is one thing. Other as mentioned by others like spirituality. So I, I always say there's two ITs. One is information technology. There's technology. And other IT is inner transformation, that is spirituality or yoga, uh, things like Ayurveda, uh, our food, like we have so many, uh, if, if pizza can be a brand, why cannot be a Puran Puri or like we have so many dishes in Gujarat or everywhere. So uh, there are so many things, um, what we are lacking is actually proper branding and execution and taking it globally. So our people have gone globally, but our brands, I think still they need to be uh, go globally and that uh, that can like that that may be the point of made in India and right. made for the world. No, uh, uh, Tanvi, was, uh, you, Tanvi, you were mentioning about uh, the fact that uh, you know there were so many historical brands which were there. You mentioned about Pani Puri not being a brand, and you mentioned about spices being a brand, right? And IT being a brand. What is stopping us? And anybody can take it now. What is stopping us from making Pani Puri as a brand or making our own brands? I mean, there are very few. Much of you know, much of the entrepreneurs sitting in Bangalore, for which we are known, are basically service providers, you know. Mm -hmm. They're basically providing service. The original products are being rarely created. Why is it that we are unable to create a McDonald's like a chain of Pani Puri? What stops us? So I'm asking what's the challenge now? I think that the challenge has to be taken by the IIMs, like the, why the, the <laughs> purpose of the institute like IIM is to take the innovation. Uh, you are like IIM and IITs are supposed to be the innovation, um, creating the innovation because what we need to make really make in India happen or uh, the this thing is uh, our we should be known by the innovative people. We are known by the smart people right now that smart people who can work good for the companies for the big they can work. But now the brand has to shift from uh, from smart people who uh, creating the smart products innovation like how the so like they just presented how they are making it in India for the world. So this kind of more and more stories and uh, more and more social entrepreneurs like taking the issues which you have mentioned in. You, like book Advantage India also and they also I uh, just when I saw the three things you uh, Dr. Kalam and you have mentioned that uh, youth, innovative youth, mm -hmm. um, other thing the wisdom from the ages and the uh, democracy dividend so that how the ideas can come from the democratic uh, behavior so these three things together well, will help us build the brand. With the management. Any, any other challenge which you think <coughs> uh, you wanted to say something? <coughs> Let me take your first question because your first question was about why is Pani Puri not a brand, right? Et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So let's say we, we talk about toothpaste, Colgate, Pepsodent. Why do we talk about Colgate, Pepsodent? Why, why do people choose between a Colgate and a Pepsodent, right? And then wh why are companies investing in identifying the right set of attributes to associate with that product? Now add a third element to it, Patanjali, right? Suddenly you have even the young guys also gravitating towards Patanjali. So what, what Patanjali's success over the last couple of uh, quarters has indicated is that there is requirement to actually focus on a single-minded attribute which the customer of today can associate you with, right? So, <clears throat> and there are two takes to, uh, you know, the example of Patanjali. So one example is of uh, a functionality, which is that it works for you, right? It is not adulterated at all. Uh, it is not, uh, uh, you know, processed, it will work for you. The second and the, and the subconscious is the fact that it is Indian. So Colgate and Pepsodent of the world are basically companies who have set up shop here and then, you know, they are basically selling us. Somewhere they are taking the money back to, uh, you know, where they came from. But Patanjali is, so you, you buy a product 
and then you basically you know kind of keep that product or the money in india as well so if you look at this example and then look at uh, india when when india has to actually market itself and uh, you know which is why bala also spoke about it and almost i think all of us agreed to the fact that when we look at brand india what's the best thing that the world is looking at indians for it's looking at indians for its people it's looking at indians for the fact that they are adaptable they are flexible they are the uh, you know they they are able to actually uh, understand the challenges constraints uh, almost all the people that i speak to within mit life uh, they realize that it's a difficult job to actually run a country like india from a business perspective because you have so many districts you, you have so many states is almost like looking you know uh, running a european union you know for that matter so the needs uh, uh, the expectations of customers in south are different from north to east to west now that complexity you know to be able to actually manage that complexity is something that indians do very well you know so being uh, being actually possible to utilize the diversity and uh, the differentiation as well of the country is something that indians do well that is something that we should look at uh, you know kind of talking about when we talk about brand india uh, what the make in india initiative is is to basically sell it more uh, as a concept where it's not only about it services you know it's a good start to do that but it's also about manufacturing and we already seeing some signs of it right india is fast becoming as a major hub of compact car manufacturing now that's largely because again goes back to people all again also goes back to some of the work that government has been able to do to provide uh, you know subsidy or let's say uh, you know some deregulation as he as he spoke about uh, so i would say that it's important to identify that attribute it's heartening to see that the government of uh, today is looking at it uh, this make in india initiative is a brand by itself i would say it's a first starting point you know it's a first starting point for people to say it's not made in us not made in china if you see make in india feel proud about it i am i am certain that which this people initiative should feel proud which people indians feel, should feel feel in, proud about it or indians the people who as own well as people who actually buy any product uh, you know which will be make, make in india will be will be proud to actually do that right it's, so, it's so important my, to label it's, it's it's important to brand this label of make in what india. does this label lead to i mean anyone can take this question because see when i buy a i don't know personal bias and i buy a make in china made in china is cheap that's that's the first thing which comes to my mind it's going to be cheap might not last but it's going to be cheap if i go say make in germany it'll be very precise if it's made in us it's probably technologically quite adept you know it's got some funky thing you know a button which does a lot of stuff you know that kind of stuff every country has a brand identity rub off on its product what is the brand identity and it cannot be spirituality like you can't have a button which suddenly goes spiritual so <laughs> what what is that india india's make in india or made in india once you see a made in india from an outside perspective not an indian perspective what should we be known for that's what uh, season uh, i was telling actually you as i said we should leverage our best part and what best part we have and because see businesses run on resources right we don't have yeah but yeah for that matter we have people resource in abundance and for that matter uh, world is looking up towards us after china so but what differentiating factor we can give that differentiating factor is obviously our culture and civilization the for matter what we can up to what extent we can leverage that i quote an example here uh, when i was uh, some day some days back i was in uh, belgium and i was coming back from frankfurt the whole airbus was uh, crowded with germans and all were coming to india because of some yoga or some uh, haridwar uh, dips or something like that stuff so we are actually known for those stuff there and <coughs> on top of that i met uh, a, a woman a uh, old an old woman she was doing business in india uh, in jaipur and she was carrying with him with her uh, handicrafts uh, some uh, designer handicrafts and uh, he she was doing it from last 10 years and she actually adopts uh, the culture of india and she was in the attire of india and all those stuff so basically what i want to stress is we have to have all the our product offerings or any other thing which we think of as a differentiating if we cannot differentiate in uh, financial measures or because something is going more out of our pocket definitely we can compete uh, taking our 
civilized or culture or okay. that uh, okay, so, so it's the culture uh, if anybody on the panel does not want to say anything about this i want to take I, it from I the crowd i just want to add one more thing here yeah, sure see uh, it yeah, obviously has make a brand india but i would see it as more of a personal brand not a nation brand because for in it if you see most of the guys either have gone to us or developed there they have developed there they have grown there and they don't see india as an it hub they see those guys as as an it expert so those they see india as a brand for people getting resources. people good at it yes, yes. is that what you said yes. and okay. that will not uh, help this nation a lot of bangalore people will completely be destroyed by saying that no. you know <laughs> so anybody from bangalore coming here see that's you know that again actually you know pinning down to bangalore it's not bangalore alone it's mm -hmm. actually So a lot of other people India, also right? heard. Yeah. I mean, right. I'm sure there are people from Madras here yeah, working. Yeah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's okay. So if if uh, if anybody wants to add something on, I I want to spe my specific question is: Imagine you were a foreigner. Imagine you were someone outside India, not an NRI, not an NRI, but somebody who is a foreign origin person. And you see, make in India or made in India, or anything on your product. What will you first thing which will come to your mind is what? That's what I'm looking at. If anyone, if he wants to answer, otherwise I want to take some. responses from the audience here as well uh, i want to answer this as well as the previous question i think that one word which i would aspire to associate with the brand india or brand make in india because of all the value additions brand india would do to any person across the world is experience mm -hmm. experience an experience which is based on authenticity based on quality and to cite your example of why can't a pani puri or a puran poli be a brand is the standardization of that product creation development marketing anything that you talk about today service of um, services sector of india is considered to be a brand not only because we are exporting talent but we are because you know the americans are exporting their jobs to india so it's both right so that's the whole it brand of india which is not something that we should be proud of because that is not something which americans really are proud of or anybody in the world you know would really look up to india saying oh you know you guys are job stealers we want to be job creators we want to create brands like puran polis and like you know the gujarat chai, puran polis yeah the indian chai has become a big brand absolutely at least in india today you know there's Even this chai india. revolution going on for some reason right why can't we take that revolution abroad why can't we have our indigenous brand of tea and create right. you know a whole starbucks of chai and yeah. take it to the world but let me tell you statistically india produces a lot of tea more than anybody else i mean china is probably ahead of us but there's a much smaller country sri lanka and the sri lankan tea dilma is is in the international market at least 7 to 8 times the price of indian tea the darjeeling tea so i wonder whether quality has been our aspirational value uh, you want to add something so you know yeah. just just building on uh, to mm -hmm. her point about experience i think it's a good starting point for defining what make yeah. in india stands for i want to add just one word to experience and that's to say experience innovation and i think uh, testimony to all the entrepreneurs who are sitting here as well and some statistics of the fact that there were 4000 startups in 2015 uh, you know we are seeing a lot of uh, entrepreneurs lot of people you know like me who are entrepreneurs who actually run our organizations like we Uh, or or our channels as if we were running our businesses uh, i think are taking the step forward to basically move out and uh, take the bait and do the risk uh, so i would say experience innovation is uh, i would foresee that should do uh, wonders to uh, uh, you know brand uh, brand india i want to take this now from the audience any you just have to say one word when you see imagine yourself as a foreigner you see made in india what is what should come to your mind Yeah, why don't you start? And we'll go backwards, huh? If we want to be a super superpower in the next twenty years, it has to be either innovation or technology or something related to that. Innovation. Let's yes. let's stick to one word. Innovation. Otherwise, it won't work. Right. Somebody else at the back. There's a lady there. Purity. That's not a bad one. Patanjali. Yeah. Yeah. I, I so was thinking purity to purity, unadulterated. Uh, unadulterated. Uh, and unadulterated. You know, unadulterated. You could yeah, have purity. quality. Like yeah. Germany is known for quality, but it could be adulterated quality. For Are Germans known for quality now? Precision. Are you sure? Precision. Precision. So, but are you sure now? Are they known for it? I think so. Still, they, they, I think they still carry that brand. It, it so, so if if the market it's thinks they are, thing. then they are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And they did it very precisely, by the way. Even that. 
<laughs> I, I'm just one yeah. sentence. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Doesn't yeah. it Jugaad kind Jugaad of also it. connote a low value product? Not necessary, because Jugaad is just innovation and reconstruction. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Bang on. So, uh, I, yeah, I am looking at, just, just one sentence, huh? that India being perceived as from the land of snake charmers to now being the land of charmers. Ah. <laughs> nice. Is, yeah, absolutely. Which is what innovation does. Very charming people. Okay. <laughs> Last, uh, you have somebody at the end. You have to raise your hand and then only I can kind of see you. Yeah. Okay, next China. Fine, I, I'll still kind of take it. We it can should be it. Uh, reliable. Reliability. Reliability at a reasonable okay. cost. At a reasonable cost. Cost effective reliability, yes. Uh, robustness and reliability. Robustness. You want to say something? You can shout. That's okay. Workshop of the world. You mean smaller enterprises doing some stuff? Yeah, right. Uniqueness, Uniqueness and uh, healthy. Healthy. Healthy yeah. is a good one. Yes. Ethics, I would. And, values. Ethics and values. Uh, yes, behind you. Yeah, so, uh, as you mentioned about an Indian Jugaad, there is a single malt whiskey, I think so some yeah. of you have heard of it. Yeah. Amrut. Uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a 2004 started company in Scotland. It's the third highest sc Scots scored in the world. It is not sold in India, right? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Now you know where to go in the evening. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. And so it's, it's wonderful. We've got uh, mm -hmm. an original yeah. product. Yes, Bala, so you I want to say something? One more thing is sustainable that we have sustainable to. Sustainable um, is very important. Yes. And other thing, like just I want to move the attention to like uh, we are thinking how world is perceiving. But uh, when I came, like I was part of Hanover delegation to Germany, and when I came back, I wrote an article called as Make in Villages. So we have start, we are starting like making villages, like making India is there, but when making India will be truly uh, because our democracy. If you see the percentage of people who are staying in rural areas and equity and equality, uh, because these are also some of the large problems which impact at the end to the um, uh, this all the pyramid. So, uh, like in Germany, uh, we went to a small village, and all the radio watches are made in that small town. Uh, we went to next village, and uh, all the roofs are solar roofs. So how the we had a bara baluti dar sanskriti? I don't call. I don't know what we call that in English. So we had our own ancient system, like barter system. Absolutely. So that in a globalized way, and somehow in Germany they had done like the town is skill-based towns, skill-based uh, villages. So now we are starting that concept in some of the villages. How the town is known by village rather than like because our country is very diverse and. Uh, we cannot see like as a one brand I see because our our own demand, our own need, rather than world attracting on that, our own people, if we uh, like supply to them, um, I think that that will yeah. So domestic market is there. Yes. I just want to give a framework to you know the entire branding and uh, so the four P's of marketing and we heard the three uh -huh. D's as well. So you actually did that course well. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No. Yeah. Uh, so I mean <laughs> the four P's. Uh, you know I think gone, gone with the wind. So the, the new framework is the seven C's. And I want to give actually specific examples of companies which have uh, done well in India and are leading it in the world as well. So first it starts with context. Context is basically about understanding the customer. How can you actually leverage the customer? And the example to give of the company is in Mobi, right? Second is content, right? Uh, so when you've understood the customer, how do you reach out to that customer? The example to give of Indian company which has done well is SlideShare. I don't know how many of you know, SlideShare actually was bought by LinkedIn uh, and it was uh, Indian developed. The third is customize, right? So it's no longer about the product. It's about uh, empowering the customer to actually customize and uh, you know kind of uh, take forward. Uh, fourth is compare. Uh, how many of you actually know about Bank Bazaar, right? So Bank Bazaar has actually started and it's going in other countries as well and providing that comparison tool and experience. Uh, then the next is connect, right? And the example is ZipDial. Uh, ZipDial was uh, acquired by Twitter. Uh, and uh, ZipDial, basically what they did is that they looked at missed call as a service to actually attract and uh, you know, kind of engage customers. And Twitter found it uh, useful. Again, the innovation piece kind of coming in. Uh, the sixth one is convenience. And the example there is Ola. Uh, Ola, Uber, you know, uh, all of us know about the fight, but who actually taught Uber to actually start accepting cash? It was Ola, right? Ola started that. 
Uh, and the last one is uh, culture, which is which is a defining element, uh, you know, any which ways which runs deep. So I would say the we have examples of companies which have actually attributed some of this. It's all about now defining these seven C framework, using the seven C framework for what India stands for. Okay. So uh, there's time out. So we're gonna quickly finish it off in one one minute answer. I want from each one of you, not more than that. Uh, is where do you brand India? Like, what is the right channel to brand India? Is it is it okay for government to brand Make in India with a you know a, a line with a lot of gears and you know put it on all the metro trains in London, or is it companies which should brand themselves and you know collectively hence brands arising out of company and their work? What is the right media to go about it? So, what do you think? And maybe in a minute or less, if each one of you can give a response, and we can close this discussion. <coughs> for uh, the answer to that question, uh, uh, Shridhar. Definitely, uh, government support is required. Uh, I mean, without that, uh, such last thing cannot ha cannot gonna happen. And uh, for that matter, government has given the platform. Now it's up to the people of India who has to leverage this platform and go out and say, yes, we are here. Yes, go out not from India. Go they should go out and <laughs> say, I am here to serve you. But one thing I want to stress more on is. We are stressing more and more on ID uh, services. We are not looking at all towards production. And this is the reason we have failed from last 15 years. We, and we are behind China. And that's where China has leveraged us. It's not about innovations always. It's about doing the things. It's about doing the productions, doing the production and services simultaneously. It's not stress one thing more and absolutely. OK. Uh, so don't like jump the manufacturing leg. Like. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, so you know, I would I would say that uh, entrepreneurs are our biggest strength, uh, and uh, the fact that we'll be able to innovate and I would say that not only in IT but other uh, industries as well. So IT is just the start. You know, there are most to come. I'm, I'm I'm sure most of these entrepreneurs are looking at solving other problems as well. Uh, and uh, I would say to answer a specific question, digital medium. If digital medium can actually force a government to change the policy of provident fund. If digital medium can actually elect, uh, you know, a chief minister of a state to, you know, becoming the prime minister, I am sure digital medium is the right medium to actually connect with the true brand India, which is, you know, the generation of sub 35. Uh, so I would say digital medium is the and should be the preferred mode of creating this uh, brand India. Okay. Thank you. And we. I second that absolutely. I think brand India is nothing but the summation of the entire sub-35, the millennial generation as we call it, generation's thought leadership put together, whether it's in the corporate or the entrepreneurial field, matters not. What these thought leaders are thinking, doing, and creating an impact with their ventures or their jobs or their leadership footprint that they are creating in brand India is what the world is looking at. And uh, there's nothing better than the social or the digital medium to make this impact go viral. So yes, that's about it. Thank you. Mm, I uh, think the role of government is to provide the platform, uh, which is like, uh, and the deregulation, which is, uh, other thing is accessibility and transparency. If we can like bring that, that is from the government side. And, uh, but it is just a platform and policy work from government side. But it has to be taken by the innovative startup uh, entrepreneurs, uh, who can take these things and also some of the areas which are like agro tourism tourism like agro businesses why can't we be the world leader in agriculture like we have the highest um, agriculture of so that, that kind of so um, so that perspective is also needed so more uh, young upcoming new entrepreneurs and uh, like more transparent accessible policies from government I'm glad you added the transparency fact of it okay so I think uh, we are the close of the discussion before you hold out the time out again which you're holding in your hand, I know that. <laughs> so uh, thanks a lot uh, to all the panelists, Madhu, Abhishek, Tanvi, uh, Bala. Thank you. It was a wonderful discussion. Thank you for your time. Thank you for all your responses. Uh, she has to allow that. OK. <laughs> yeah. Because when it actually started, uh, Vikas Behal is one of the directors, movie directors. And uh, he started branding Panipuri as water golas in a movie called Queen. So that is actually going viral in the US. So you know there are some of my friends and they called it as water gola parties. You know they actually did that, and it was it was something which was 
it, it just came in the movie and they actually started doing that there. I mean, the Indians, they started calling it as water cooler. So, entertainment is like because we ah, were so known by the Bollywood. So, entertainment that's a good and point, sports. Actually, the la last question, you know, look at the way uh, European tourism is promoted in India. Exactly. Yeah. Like through movies. So. Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, all our sports stars or maybe the Bollywood guys mm -hmm. and the girls, they should probably start promoting Make in India somewhere. Um, on that. Yeah, the next Hollywood movie, you know, if you said Pani Puri to space. Yeah. The next Hollywood movie should have probably some marquee names from India to act in it. Probably that will help. Good idea. Thank you. Okay. Great.